So let's talk raw footage. The stuff that promises ultimate flexibility, but can leave you feeling like you're wrestling a digital gorilla. So you've got your footage. It says raw on it and you're expecting instant magic. Well, just pump the brakes here. RAW is essentially your camera sensor's brain dump. It's unprocessed data. Think of it as the ingredients to the cake rather than the finished cake itself. You still need to bake it, or in this case, grate it. Resolve has a special set of controls for RAW footage. And now one might ask, where do you find these mystical RAW controls? Well, I'm glad you asked. Resolve hides them in a couple of different places. First, there's a set of them in the project settings. So let's click on the gear and then click on camera raw and bam. This is where you can set the default raw decoding settings for all of the footage for a specific camera type in your project. But wait, you say, I want to tweak clips individually. We can do this in two different locations, but let's go to the color page as that's where most people are going to be changing these settings. Once on the color page, we're going to click on this camera all button over here. Here you can overwrite the project settings and make adjustments for the specific selected clip. Think of it like adding the sprinkles and frosting to that one slice. Now I'm not going to go through all of these settings because every camera manufacturer has their own flavor of raw. So the specific controls are going to vary here based off of what camera shot this particular clip. But in general, you're going to find things like exposure, color temperature, highlight recovery, and more because every camera company needs to justify its existence. And then the final way to play around with the camera raw controls on the other pages is in the inspector itself. Having a raw clip selected, if we click on image, as we said before, each camera manufacturer has completely different settings. So jumping around, you can see those different settings there. The beauty of RAW is its flexibility it gives you in post. You're essentially developing the image after the fact. Also, let's clear up a common misconception. RAW is not the same as log. Log footage is already processed to some degree, aiming to flatten the image for a wider dynamic range. RAW is just the untouched sensor data. Think of log like a slightly prepped canvas and RAW as just the pigments themselves. Now, before we go, a quick reality check. RAW is typically a feature found in high-end cameras. Your smartphone probably isn't spitting out cinema DNG files yet, but if you're working with professional grade equipment, understanding RAW is crucial. If you'd like to have a go for yourself, I've included a link in the description to a couple of sample clips. So I think that's a pretty good overview of the camera RAW palette if you've never used it before. If you'd like to see more short videos like this one, hit the like button.